What can I help you with? Got a Lincoln campaign ribbon from 1860. It's made of silk. It's in very good condition. It's got Abraham Lincoln's uh, bus picture on it. Also has for Vice President Hannibal Hamlin. Is that like a Lincoln log? No, it's a ribbon you would like wear in your clothes. Oh. You like to have campaign buttons nowadays? Yeah. It's sort of what they had back then. I need to bust out the new button. Sean Lee for President 2012. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today. I have an Abraham Lincoln campaign ribbon. It's a very rare piece of history. Decided to bring it and see what it was worth. Everything has a number on it, but I'm not going to give it away. This is pretty amazing. So where in the world did you get this? Well, it's uh, been in my family uh, 150 years. I have a little document here. It was originally in when I found it in my mom's cedar chest. Tell a little story about it there. Okay. Worn by my grandfather, John Hall, campaign of 1860. I'm definitely interested in it because, um, quite frankly, it's pretty cool. Abraham Lincoln is considered one of the greatest leaders this country has ever had. So whenever I run across items from his presidency, you bet I'm interested. How come Lincoln doesn't have a beard? The story goes is a little girl wrote him a letter saying he would look much more distinctive if he grew a beard. And that's why he grew it. I don't know if it's true or not. Beard or no beard, you don't get a much bigger American icon than Lincoln. So what were you looking to do with it? I'll sell it if the price is right. Okay, um... The great thing is it's in beautiful shape. And I can definitely tell it's real from how old it is. But the problem I have here is I don't even know what this thing is worth. Well, I do. Okay, and what is that? I've, I had it appraised uh, seven, eight years ago for 25000 Okay. Um, sounds a little high to me. You mind if I have someone come down here, take a look at it, maybe we could figure something out? No problem. Not that I don't believe you, it's just I don't believe anybody. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so Thank let me you. get someone down here and check it out. Thank you. This ribbon is awesome, but I have no idea how rare it is or what it's worth. It could be 25 grand like the guy says, but I'm not taking his word for it. So I called in my buddy Dana to take a closer look. I'm Dana. I'm president of Early American History Auctions. Rick calls me to check on items to make sure that they're authentic and to get an update on what they might be worth in today's marketplace. Well, this is what I called you about. This is a campaign ribbon from obviously 1860 where it says that. This election was really one of the most important in American history because of course Abraham Lincoln's election led to the Civil War and his views on slavery caused the South to secede. And another really interesting fact about this uh, campaign was over 81% of the population actually voted in this election. So this is a really historic, wonderful ribbon. An 81% turnout is insane. And it was much harder to get to a place to vote back then. So is it real? It's uh, actually in very, very nice shape because it's very easy to read. And you could even see that there's a sculptor's name down here, Childs. It's full and complete other than the uh, tear at the top. It is one of the nicer examples that I've seen. In my opinion, this is uh, the real deal. So what do you think it's worth? Well, what do you think it's worth? I'm thinking it's worth 20,000 plus. I don't know about that. At the peak of the market, this ribbon would have sold for maybe 4000 These days at auction, it would bring somewhere in the vicinity of about $3,000. It's uh, a great ribbon, but it's simply not worth that kind of money. I understand. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Dana. I appreciate it. So, uh, apparently, we were pretty far off on the price. <laughs> Way off. <laughs> I mean, I would give you like two grand for it. Two grand, does that have any extra zeros on it? Just I'll throw a, a decimal in there for you. <laughs> Where are you going to put that at? The end? Well, how low would you go? 5,000. Mm, no, I mean, I'll go 2,500, but I'm not going to go a dime more than that. No, I, I think I'll just leave it in the family. It's been there for 150 years and... Okay. Thanks for bringing it in, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. I was disappointed with the experts' numbers. There's no way I'm going to get rid of it for that. I'm not going to just listen to one person. I was filling them out just like they were me.